In the Hindu tradition, the chakra for the navel energy point is called the Manapura, also known as the City of Jewels. It is the third primary chakra, and so now we have a connection to the navel chakra and the ancient Egyptian number key also revealed within the Hindu tradition. The number three is also represented in the triangle within the symbol relating to this chakra, and it is said that the three-eyed god Rudra resides in the Bindu within this chakra. The Manipura is located in the area of the solar plexus, navel, and digestive system. This is known as the fiery third chakra and the resplendent gem. This is also where Taoists say our chi power emanates from. The fire region is represented by the god of Vani, who is shining red, has four arms, holds a rosary and a spear. The seed mantra for this chakra is the syllable Ram. With both Rudra and Vani, we see a connection to the number four emperor card which, as we have seen in previous videos, features the symbolism of the ram's head and is symbolic for the physical attributes of the divine male twin soul. Rudra's consort or Shakti is Lakini, who has three faces, each with three eyes. One of her four arms holds a thunderbolt. It is said the arrow shot from the bow is of karma or fate. We not only see a connection to the number 3 in Lakini, but also to the number 9, as the three faces each have three eyes. When we added the sum of all the previous numbers in the Fibonacci sequence, we got the number 54. But now, if we deduce 5 and 4, we have the number 9. The number 9 is representing the Divine Trinity, but as this is a number deduced from another, it is still only a potential and not yet symbolic of the divine union. It is also not just a connection to the number nine and the navel chakra that we see with Lakini and the ancient Egyptian number key, but also this is shown to us encoded in the Kabbalah tree of life. If we look to the Kabbalah tree of life, we see a direct connection to the number nine seraphot, Yod, and the moon. However, when we look to the path of mouth, which equates to the navel chakra, we see that it is the path number 27. 2 and 7 are 9. And on the strength card, the mouth is also symbolically represented with the lion's mouth being gently closed. Number 9 and the moon can also be seen directly connected in the tarot, for the moon card is number 18, and 1 and 8 are 9. The moon card represents the ethereal plane and the hidden forces of the universe that work within this plane and the effect that they have on us. We can see the ether represented in the water and the crayfish carries the same symbolic meaning as the crab. And when we look at the sign of cancer, which is related to the crab, we can see it is ruled by the moon. The crab and crayfish are symbolic for the cycles that are connected to the moon and how they relate emotionally within our instinctive nature. This is symbolized by the dogs representing the male and female twin souls and the primal and instinctive emotions that influence them. The two towers again represent the different planes between the physical and ethereal and we see the physical represented in the number of gold leaves as 15 when deduced equates to 6. Behind the crescent moon we see the sun is represented and this is why the navel chakra is also called the solar plexus due to the connection between the heart chakra and sun and the navel chakra and the moon. This connection between these two energy points can be seen on the ancient Egyptian number key as well as the Kabbalah tree of life through the path of Semke which is path number 25 and deduces to a 7. The root meaning of the word semke means to uphold or support and it is the 15th letter of the Hebrew alphabet which is deduced to a 6. So we can see both the physical and ethereal being represented in this path. On the Kabbalah tree of life the path of mouth is called the path of pay. And this path is directly related to the navel chakra. Pei is the 17th Hebrew letter in the Hebrew alphabet. 
Pei is also symbolic of the expression of the soul when it is represented as the tetrahedron. So now we have a connection to the number 8 strength card and the navel chakra on the tree of life in the path of Pei, as 1 and 7 are 8. Pei also has a numerical value of 80. The path of Pei also connects the Sephirot, Hod and Netzach related to the male and female twin souls within the tetrahedron. And if we multiply the numbers of these Sephirot 7 and 8, we get 56, which deduces to an 11. So now we have another connection to the number 11 and the Justice card connected to the navel chakra. As we saw in the previous videos, the tetrahedron is symbolic for the trinity and also the ethereal soul. So we are seeing the creation of the soul also represented in this connection between the two Sephiroth through Pei. The number 9 is also found when we multiply the two Sephiroth representing the male and female twin souls and the middle Sephiroth Yod representing God. 7 multiplied by 9 equals 63 and 6 and 3 are 9. 8 multiplied by 9 is 72 and 7 and 2 are 9. This is showing the potential of divine reunion exists within each soul. Proverbs 11.30 The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that wins souls is wise.